um, I would have told myself um, when I was like in elementary school, middle school, like those ages, I would have told myself, you are beautiful. You are loved. You are appreciated. And you might feel like an oddball, or you might feel like a different, or you might keep hearing that you're so stupid and you don't get anything right. But Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seaworth Family. I'm Ivy. If you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. This video, I was tagged by Living Out Loud with Mo Nicole and it's life lessons and things I would tell my younger self. So I got the tag, it's me, and I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do this tag. Let me go ahead and take a sip because you guys know you guys that have been following me and have been around for a while, you guys know. <sighs> when it's time to go back to the past, especially my younger self, that's not easy for me. It's just not. So, let me take another sip. Be sure to check out Sierra Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. All right, go ahead, go ahead and do it. So my younger self, my past from a childhood to young adult was just not a good one. It just wasn't. Some people have great, fantastic, awesome childhoods and some people have um, devastating, traumatic, unforgettable, lonely, just all these things and that was mine. Yeah. Now, it wasn't all bad, but sometimes so much bad just outweighs the good, okay? If it was something that I have learned or that I can tell my younger self because I can't say um, the main thing that I have learned is there's no way that I can do life without Jesus Christ, without God in my life. So that would be one of the major lessons that I have learned. And growing up, I some people went to church. My mom and them, they went to church. Like, they knew the Bible and things like that. But it wasn't a relationship with Christ. Like, I know. And one thing I would tell my younger self between the ages of five and eight is that you might feel all alone. You are waiting for someone to rescue you. And physically, nobody is going to rescue you. Nobody's going to come in and stop what's going on and grab you in their arms and nurse you back and tell you it's okay and tell you that it's not your fault. Nobody is going to do that. But I wish that I could have told her that. There is someone who loves you. Um, you can't see him, but he's watching you and he's there and he's not happy with the things that are going on, but he is your strength and he is someone that you could have talked to, somebody that could have made your days brighter, somebody that could have um, helped you deal with the foolishness that's taken place with you. And his name is Jesus Christ. His name is God and he sees all. And you might not understand why things is happening or why things take place but you're gonna make it through. And even though you don't have a relationship with him, he is going to see you 
through. Trust me, he's going to see you through. I so wish that when I was that age, going through certain things that I knew how to pray. And I knew that God was there. And I knew that he was listening to me. Just, I just wish that when I was playing with toys and stuff that I was talking to him and knowing that he knows and he's with me and he's there. And I know that would have helped with the lonely feeling and the pain and things like that. So I know that. Um, as I got older, <sighs> um, I would have told myself uh, when I was like in elementary school, middle school, like in those ages, I would have told myself, you are beautiful. You are loved. You are appreciated. And you might feel like an oddball, or you might feel like you're different, or you might keep hearing that you're so stupid and you don't get anything right. But it's okay. Some people, um, Some people are, sometimes the adults that's in your life, they have a weird way of doing things or I truly feel that not, this is me. I feel like some people are just not good with kids um, or some people choose themselves rather than their children. And, um, That's not your fault. Sooner or later, well later to myself in middle school, as you get older, you're still gonna go through things because you don't have a relationship with God. And you're gonna feel trapped. You're gonna feel like things that you're doing make sense, but they really don't. They're really damaging you. You have to hold on. Don't harm yourself. Don't. Put yourself down. Don't trap yourself in a box. And also, don't desire to be anybody that you're around. Don't desire to please them because the type of relationship they have with you, nothing that you do is going to be right. Nothing. It's nothing that you can do to make people like you, even if they're your family. It's nothing. If somebody has something in their head that that's what they're gonna go with and that's what they're gonna go with and there's nothing you can do about that. And you're gonna learn that. You're gonna get older and you're gonna realize these people just don't rock with me. And you're gonna be okay with that. You're gonna be okay with that. You're not gonna cry, you're not gonna feel hurt, you're not gonna keep trying all these things to please these people because you're gonna realize that it's nothing that you can do. That's something that this person, a much higher power named God, he's gonna deal with and that weight is going to be lifted from you. Now, another younger self. <laughs> I would tell myself when I finally started my love relationship with Jesus Christ, with God, and starting that journey, I was 23. I would tell you this is what you've been missing. You are free. This is what freedom is. And money can't buy it. Nobody can't give it to you. Only God and that freedom is him and living your life forgiven and just filled with peace and joy. And you are no longer alone. No human being Nothing on this earth will take away the presence that God now has in your life. So those are some of the things that I would tell my younger self. And hmm, I guess I just shared that with you guys. Um, thank you so much for tagging me. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this tag. And as you guys can see, um, I really don't go into too much detail 
because this is a family channel and my kids do watch and they don't know everything. But um, thank you for allowing me to share a piece of me. And you guys, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaver Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people. Thank you.